How's it going, everybody? Rye Brady here today, and we are back with your Columbus Blue Jackets here in episode officially number one. Last episode was number zero, just an introduction to the team. Today, guys, we are jumping in. The new rosters were released. Adam Fantilli is here, so let's go take a look. Uh, and here he is, guys. I've, I've already stuck him on the second line. I did some uh, a line lineup setting right now, so Fantilli's there on the second line. I'm, I, I know I talked about potentially getting rid of Boone Jenner. Uh, he does fit, and he gets the, the the plus one here. He's an 83. I can't really complain about an 83 as my second line center, especially with the state of this team. Uh, the fact that Goudreau, Johnson, and Line A get a, a plus five is phenomenal. Um, but we just have so much talent, so much potential in this team, as you guys have commented down in the comment section of the last episode. And I wanted to say thank you guys so much for the support on that episode. Can I see similar support for this one for, from you guys? Can we get to 15 likes on this episode? It's episode number one. Let's set the bar high and get some uh, good interaction with you guys because it's been fun so far and I've really enjoyed it. Some of you guys have brought up some really cool ideas. Um, speaking of, I'm going to call you AMM. You mentioned that you uh, generally do off ice challenges and I'm going to kind of steal that idea fr from you. It's part of the uh, uh, franchise mode challenge video I've got coming out uh, not too long from now, but what we're going to have is a bunch of off-ice challenges. There's actually 25 off-ice interactions that I've put on a wheel that you'll see later in this episode. Um, and, and we'll have to deal with these challenges and the repercussions. It goes from things like injuries to captaincy being questioned to a player unfollowing his teammates on social media. Uh, and we even get a couple bonuses, like a player comes back from injury sooner than expected. Or we get the... Uh, uh, the boost of, of of a veteran mentoring some of the youngsters on this team with the potential is great. So it's going to be so much fun, guys. I hope you stick around to the end to see that. Um, but we are not really going to make any trades. I really like the way the roster looks. You guys mentioned to kind of stick with it and, and see where it goes. Um, and I, I think I'm going to do that. I just hate the fact that our coach here... Um, I, he just doesn't fit the, the, the defense at all. I love the offensive defenseman. You guys know I love offensive defensemen in this game. Uh, the defensemen that put up points are, are like gold. Uh, but our coach, I don't know. I don't know if I should fire him or not. He is only an A- minus, and he's a veterans coach. That's probably not what we need, to be honest. Taking a look at who's out there, um, there's really not a lot of NHL head coaches just floating out there. Um, so we may end up just for one season using... Uh, uh, Joshua Gore here. He's got a great power play, decent teaching, and a really, really good coach influence. So if he can help grow, uh, maybe Garcia here or, or, or Joey Blanchard, right? Two guys that, I mean, Billy Garcia is a defenseman specialist, so maybe that's where we go if we move on from Gore. But somebody else is bound to fire their coach at some point. We could even uh, use Kavanaugh, Emiliano Kavanaugh here. Although the teaching and the coaching influence, it, it it's not great, right? So we, our, our coaching situation is a little bit precarious right now. Don't really love it, but I think for this season, I really am going to just stand pat and and not make too many crazy moves. Um, I really like the lines. I like the way we're looking. Um, you know, we do have some depth just in case of injuries. I don't have injuries turned on, so the rest of the league won't have to face injuries. But we will, thanks to the wheel, um, and, and there's a chance at an injury, right? So the wheel will not dictate if there's an injury. It'll dictate that there's a 60% chance. We'll then do the random num number generator to see if we get a number 1 through 60. If not, then, you know, um, th then 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 they're not injured. But uh, take a look at the goaltending. We do have Daniil Tarasov. I am going to put him down in the minors. Uh, 79 overall, listed as a backup goalie, but medium starter and Jet Greaves. I think this could be a really, really nasty goaltending tandem down in the AHL. Um, and just looking down here at, at, at you know, the players, um, there's not too many players that are young. Fix Wolanski, maybe. Um, but look, looking through here, we got Liam Foudy, who is 79, listed as a depth forward. I probably want to put him up there on the top line. I didn't do much uh, of the setting up here for the AHL. But uh, as far as the NHL, we got Fantilli. We got Kent Johnson. We got Cole Sillinger. We got, uh, you know, Marchenko, Chinikov. We got a lot of youngsters on this team, uh, and I'm very excited to get it underway. Uh, taking a look at our power play, I think I'm going to move uh, Marchenko and flip-flop him with Sillinger, and then I'm going to take Sillinger off the power play so that we can get Adam Fantilli on the top line power play. So there we go. Change in current line. We get a plus three with him there. He fits this first line power play great. Uh, so we got Jake Bean there as well, and then power play number two, we have Zach Wierenski, uh, Marchenko, Tessier. Actually, do we want Tessier there? 
Um, two way forward. I mean, he's pretty decent, but would you rather have like Sillinger? Um, uh, Chinikov. Chinikov's a sniper. He is medium top six at only 22. He's got goal scoring potential. So we will put him in there. Um, Jack Roslovic, Boone Jenner. I feel like these guys will be fine. Kirill Marchenko is also fine there. Um, if I had to flip one of these guys off the lines, I think it'd be maybe Boone Jenner. Johnny Goudreau is already on the top line. Centers, uh, Cole Sillinger is listed as a two-way forward. Kent Johnson should already be getting power play one time. And yes, he is. Um, so we're fine with this. I think the power play is actually set up nicely. Taking a look at our penalty kill. We got Corrali and Jenner. I kind of want Boone Jenner taking faceoffs with that uh, ability. So, uh, you know, it may not be perfect, but we're going to set that up here. Penalty kill. There we go. Corrali, Jenner. Jirasek. Is Jirasek, he's a listed as a two-way defenseman. But he is medium elite. Do I do I want him over Jake Bean on that first line power play? Jake Bean is only is already 25, only 82, right? It's not like he's um some up and coming stud. I mean, we've got Adam Boquist too, who's low elite. He's list he's an offensive defenseman. Oh man, do I you know what Jirsek will have his opportunity, I think. I think I'll go with Boquist um on the quarterbacking that top line power play. Uh, the distributor, I, I understand. Thank you. Uh, the finisher would be line A. The puck carrier is Goudreau, and the distributor is Goudreau. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Um, and then we go here to power play two, taking a look at who's doing what on power play two. Wierenski the distributor, with the finisher being Roslovic. I think I want the finisher being maybe Chinikov. Uh, and then the puck carrier should probably be... Roslovic? I, yeah, I think I think I like that. Oh, the face-off formation. I guess I could have changed that, but Boone Jenner in front of the net feels better to me uh, anyway. And then on the penalty kill here, I I, I get it. Uh, there's nothing I can really change because they lock your coach's strategies, which I kind of wish they didn't. I'd like a little bit more control over it myself, but anyway, the penalty kill's got Roslovic, uh, Olivier uh, here, and then on the penalty kill line three, we got Sillinger and Tessier. So, uh, I, I think we've got a pretty balanced team here, uh, pretty well-rounded. And like you guys said, not too many moves to be made. You guys said a couple, maybe a retooling, stand pat. There's talent here. See where we are at the deadline, right? We'll get there. But I think for now, we're going to keep the team as is. And I would like to jump in and play the first game of the season. Uh, it's a little bit crazy. One thing I do want to check out are the free agents, though. See who's out there. Um, Patrick Kane's a free agent. Not not really what I'm looking for right now. I mean, it would be interesting. Uh, there is Shane Pinto. Uh, he's an RFA right now, so he's he's an RFA. We'd have to give something up to get him. Um, if, we, if we sign him to a one-year deal, uh, no picks are required if we go after Shane Pinto. Um, I may want to do this. I mean, he's, he's medium top six. I, I'm offer sheeting, right? Nobody offer sheets, but... I'm going to come and shake up the apple cart here a little bit. Uh, taking a look at other potential UFAs, there's not really anybody exciting. Um, so taking a look at the RFAs still available. It is Pinto, 82 overall. Maybe I can force Ottawa's hand here and, and sign him. If not, uh, if they don't match, right, I think we got a really nice, nice player here. We'll sign him, see if we can get him two years. Uh, what, what, what is What offer sheet compensation? I want to make sure that I can navigate this. Under 1.415 is no compensation. Okay, so we could give him that two-year deal and see if we can get him to take the under um, uh, 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 on the uh, uh, on the uh, uh, what he's asking for, right? So offer him a contract here, two years. He's asking for 1.45. We'll give him 1.4. See if he'll take that. No picks required in two years. He's currently considering his options. He will get back to us. Um, I bet it. I, if we get Shane Pinto on top of this, guys, the young talent on this team is going to be ridiculous. And I still love the fact that I think we still have some good draft picks uh, and draft capital. And we'll see what happens this year, but we may sell off at the deadline too. We don't have a second, so maybe if we're not good at the deadline, we can get rid of Boone Jenner for a second. He's got a modified uh, eight-team no-trade clause, um, and that's something I'm going to look for. I know you guys, uh, some of you did say just go all in, but most of the comment section last time said realistic. It's more fun for you guys, and I want to have more fun too, uh, and if you guys are interacting, that's why I do this. So let's simulate up to the opener against Philly. It is the home opener. Let's get some gameplay in there uh, as well. We are going to beat the Devils. He's decided to accept our offer, but it's not a done deal just yet. He's not able to join our team at this time, as his previous team, the Ottawa Senators, may still decide to match our offer. They have a week. Um, was matched by the Ottawa Senators. He will remain that franchise. Okay, so 
they they did sign him for the 1.4. I'm kind of glad because I don't want him just sitting out there and, and wallowing. They obviously had the cap space to do it. Um, so why not? But here we go. We're up against Philly after a decent preseason where I think we went 500. We went above 500. We went, wow, five and two is that? All right. All right. I will take that two, four, five. Yeah, five and two. Uh, okay. Not what I was expecting, but I, I'll take it. Um, I do have to set up the scouting too. Let me go ahead and do that and I'll jump right back. It's now officially time to jump into the home opener. Let's see how it goes. We jump in only to the third period. I'm going to play probably one game per episode. We'll probably figure that out as we go along here. But in the first period, it's going to be nothing, nothing. After two, it's one, nothing. Travis Konechny scores on Merzlikens. And we have an opportunity to come back and win the home opener. So, you know what? We got we got to jump in. Uh, oh, man. I forgot we got the uh, the cannons. Their reverse retros aren't bad either. But we'll stick with the traditional homes for the home opener. So, let's go ahead and jump into it uh, and see if we can make this comeback. Here we are. We are going to accept our coach's decision to push for offense. We got Kent Johnson out there uh, taking the face off. He wins it and streaks in. We toe drag the shot. And Kent Johnson, his first goal of the season, ties it at one. By the way, I am playing on All-Star, right? Um, want things to happen, not just uh, like Superstar. It'd be just a grind fest. Uh, but an easy one to start the period. What a huge first goal. Um, and, and they're going to win the face off here. Uh, we missed the hit. Connect me now. Gets it over to Kachiria. He shoots. Good save by Merzlikens. Okay, okay. We're going to settle this thing down. Damon Severson. Uh, where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? Uh, oh, I tried to dump that thing. Uh, it's not going to work, but we find Warensky. Finds Goudreau. Goudreau. Uh, we'll go down and around to Kent Johnson. He's He's got the puck. All right, we'll set up in the zone now. There we go. Full pressure, maybe. Far side shot. No, it's not there. All right, Walker with the puck. Kent Johnson retrieves it. All right, we're going to go. Oh, we, I don't know why he stopped. He he didn't want to keep... Oh, they, they signed Patrick Kane? Oh, he gets leveled, though, by Wierenski. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. And they dangle through. And, oh, man, I'm, I'm more in shock that Patty Kane is out there for him. And we're going to give up the lead again. Sean Walker walks in and scores. Uh, they just dug it out of the corner there. I missed a big hit. The, uh, I missed two hits. I don't know what I'm doing. I should probably play smarter defense. But as you guys can see, All-Star is not going to... I was worried that All-Star might be a piece of cake. Uh, it, it, clearly, it's not. There we go. We knock Atkinson down as he tries to cross over uh, into the line. Fantilli now. Our first action with Adam Fantilli. What can he do? The... He's got it now. We're going to go around the net. Okay. We got some time. We're going to shoot short side. Good block there. That's towards hockey. Uh, we'll shoot that thing low. See if we can get a rebound. Roslovic does. Sandstrom stands tall. And we are very close to full pressure. Three-minute periods. All-star. Just letting you guys know the, the settings. It's pretty much as default as it gets. But a huge hit there on Atkinson as he crosses the blue line. And a big face-off here. Um, we've got Fantilli, Jenner, and Roslovic out there. They are going to win it, though. Patty Kane comes in and picks it up. Uh, and there we go. Boone Jenner. We now have full pressure. We've got full pressure. We're going to go back to the point. Roslovic. Ooh, I don't know why Roslovic's at the point. What's what's Wierenski doing? We'll go with th to Fantilli, the one-timer. Jack Roslovic now with the puck again. Shoots that thing short side. A good save. It's loose in front of the net. He's down. We take the shot. Oh, and he pokes it away. What a scrambling save from Felix Sandstrom. Severson now shoots. It's there. The puck is loose. Couturier gets it. It's not cleared. Boone Jenner on the forecheck. Sandheim now with the puck. Their full pressure is cleared, but the puck is not. Rozovic on the forecheck. Goudreau is out there now. Patty Kane. Uh, connect me. Oh, my God. I just said see ya. Thank you, Merzlikens. Sandheim now with the puck. Finds Tippett. Connect me to Tippett off the bench. Oh, good save. We are now getting full pressured ourselves. Ristolainen with the puck. This, the shot, it's saved by Merzlikens. We're going to freeze it. 5.03 to go. Uh, we need to get the first line out there for sure. We're down by one. <clears throat> Time on attack in our favor, which is nice to see. Um, but, you know, hey, uh, we're, we're still losing. We need a big faceoff win from Johnson here. We don't win it. Ristolainen gets the puck. We get it to Goudreau. We can we dangle? Oh, we we get around the wrist line and only momentarily, but we do enough to clear the full pressure. They're gonna find Kate's in front. Line A now. A big hit. And it's a it's a penalty? 
Interference? He had the puck? Did he not have the puck? Oh my goodness. And with 3.22 to go, Line A's in the box for two minutes. We're not going to have much even strength time to tie this one. So we're going to need... And uh, the shorty here is really what I'm... I mean, what? <laughs> he had the puck. I don't really... I don't really know what else I'm supposed to do there. Uh, maybe he didn't officially pick it up, but he pretty much had the puck. So I, I, I don't know what's going on here. Hopefully Cole Sillinger can win this face. Yes, he can. There we go. Jirasek. Uh, oh, he loses the puck. York. There we go. Wierenski. A self pass off the boards. Okay. Uh, Sillinger. Can we just get it out? We do. Just get that thing deep. He's going to chase after it. He's going to chop it around. Wierenski can't get there. Uh, we need to be aggressive. Oh, and maybe a bit too aggressive. Is it two on one? Jirasek, great play. Frost picks it up. Faraby now with the puck. They're going to... Oh, in tight. Merzlikens. I'm going to freeze that one. He's looking tired. 2.46 to go. We're about 45 seconds. About 40 seconds into this penalty. Roslovic is out there with Olivier. And one... Okay, 30 seconds into the penalty only. So we'll see if we can get the tie up here. Avoid them winning it clean. There we go. Adam Boakfist. All right, we get in, uh, we get it out. We get it in now with Olivier. All right, uh, we'll go back to the point. Back down low, back to the point. Back to the point again. Provorov will go down low to Roslovic. He can't get there. Tippett picks it up. A good scrum. I mean, they're not going to score, but I'm not worried about them scoring. I'm more worried about us scoring at this point. Good play there by Bokvist. And he shrugs him off. There we go. He picks up the puck. We find Roslovic. Roslovic, can he beat his man? He can. Roslovic. In tight. Oh, they poke. Stops the pass from getting across. Kate's now with the puck. Frost. Bokvist picks it up, though. We've got Olivier. We're going to go back to Bokvist. We're going to Provorov. Up to Roslovic. Roslovic into Olivier. Olivier in tight. Shoots. Scores. Olivier scores it shorthanded. He cuts across on the opposite side. Roslovic finds him. And we have tied this thing shorthanded. First of the season. A huge one with 39 seconds left on the power play. Um, we still got uh, time to kill here, but we we, we didn't no longer have to be as aggressive as I, you know, try the same same looking play. Bean now. Can we get it out? Yes, we can. Corrali, don't. Don't catch that, buddy. Don't. Don't. <laughs> Just let that thing go down the ice, please. Next time. Uh, Severson. Kane. Uh, Konechny. Shoots. Saved. There's room here. And we are going to just dump that thing down the ice. 30 shots for the Philadelphia Flyers. A good game for Merzlikens, too. Um, ooh, look at them breaking it out. That's that's a nice breakout from them. York, we get the hip check. He's down for the count. Bean, we dump that thing down. Konechny catches it, puts it down in front of him, which is out of uh, the zone. And Line a gets out of the box, and immediately we lay a hit, and there is just an... Uh, they immediately jump to try and fight. Is that an instigator penalty? That's roughing for Owen Tippett. I'm assuming uh, Line A just gets back in there. 29 seconds to go in regulation. It's going to be a four on four. We've got Kent Johnson. We've got Goudreau. They've got Konechny and Frost who look a little bit tired. So this would be a big win on the faceoff. We've got some legs. We got fresh legs because we just killed that penalty. So our top guys were not out there. Goudreau rinses his man. Kent Johnson. Oh, can't get it. Can't get it through. We're going to go back to the point, though. Bokefist, back to Johnson. Johnson, they're really sitting off here. Uh, Bokefist, get into a more dangerous area. Johnson now with the puck. We're going to go back. I, I I know there's just a little time left. Jake Bean shoots. Johnson, rebound, gets knocked off. Four seconds. Walker, Goudreau, can't keep it in. Slapper at the buzzer. It is saved, and we are going to overtime here in game number one on home ice. You guys can see... Uh, they outshot us there, but in that third period, the shots were two in our favor, face-offs one in our favor, so it's going to be fun. I, I really think the settings are perfect. Uh, maybe, I maybe I should tone down uh, how long the power plays last. You know, you can make them go by a little quicker, uh, but we are going to lose the face-off. Patty Kane, Severson tries to lay the hip. Ooh, and a good hit there. We're in. Severson, find Goudreau. Goudreau, oh my god, you can just tell Goudreau is, he's different. Shoots. Ken Johnson, rebound. He misses the net. Oh my god, he missed the net, and we have a even strength. Goudreau in front. Can't get it through. Wierenski now stops Couturier. Johnson on Sanheim. Do we need to make a line change? No. Patty Kane. Severson's got him clamped. Severson's got Patty Kane clamped. 
Let's go. And he takes a tripping penalty. I can't. Why would Patrick Kane ever sign for the Flyers? That is like, that, listen, I, can't, I can only control so much, right? Ay, ay, ay. But we do have a four on three power play. This is huge. We just need to set, get, get in the zone and set up. Line A keeps it in. There we go. There we go. We're going to go back to the point to Boone Jenner. Boone Jenner, walk the line. Boone Jenner, step in. Boone Jenner, shoot. Oh, almost. We're going to go back to Jake Bean. Jake Bean now with the puck. Um, nobody's really getting open. Uh, nobody's in front of the net either. We've got full pressure winding up. We got to cross Roslovic. I did not want to, to give that to Roslovic. I wanted to give that to... Oh, Line A, you can't catch this one. All right, whatever. It's a three on three. For what? Cross-checking? There's a Roslovic for cross-checking? What? When? Oh, my God. Seriously? I got to see this penalty. I, I I have to see this replay. Show me. Can, can I see the penalty? They're going to show it. Oh, wow. He, he actually did cross-check him. I, I don't know what I did to do that. I think I just went for the nudge. Uh, but he absolutely cross-checked him. So we got three on three. What are we throwing it back to the old uh, old style of overtime where three on three is only if there's two penalties? Line A. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. We almost got him there on the... Uh, uh, on, on the windmill. Uh-oh. Severson's got a turn. Cates is in tight. Cates, great recovery. Severson's been great. Line A, no. The puck is loose. They've got it. Sanheim. There we go. Uh, can we get the puck? Boone Jenner, thank you. Oh, Line A's streaking. Line A, again. We got Severson with us. We've got Severson with us. Can we get it to him? Seven seconds left. Six, five, four, Three, two, one, he's in tight. He shoots a breakaway and it's saved. And we are headed to a shootout. Wow, okay. <laughs> Not many shots in that overtime period. We did have the power play, but here we go. It is Patrick Kane stepping out of the box, dangling Merzlikens, shuts the door. And that is a huge save. Now we have Johnny Goudreau also with his puck on the string. There we go. Can we go back and forth? Back. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Let's go, Johnny Goudreau with a great in tight, close control. Guys, I love puck. Like the fact that you can go back and forth so quick. I might have had him on the on the uh, on the forehand too, but oh man. Just absolutely rinsed him. Connect me now. Skates in, comes around, good dangle, but a good save from Mers Leakins. We can end it here with a goal from Patrick Line. Fake the shot from far out. Go backhand. Oh, I, I saw it there for a second, but it was good. It was a good slide by uh, um, Sandstrom. And now, game on his stick. Cam Atkinson skates in, shoots, snipes it. The former Blue Jacket ties this shootout up. We still have a chance to win, but man, what a shot. Just rips it over the glove from in tight. And now we have Kent Johnson. We already saw him tie the game once. Oh my goodness, the filthy mitts. He scores it and sends the Blue Jackets into victory um, in the shootout here. Right, it's a game one shootout win against the, the, the Philadelphia Flyers. That was fun though. Let's jump back into the simulation here. All right, we are back, ready to get the simulation underway. And honestly, guys, that was that was fun. I can't wait to see what this Blue Jackets team turns into. But we've already got, um, you know, some fun, some fun with Kent Johnson. Uh, we didn't really get to see much of Fantilli, but hopefully, we get to see him a little bit more uh, in future games. But that's the that's the game for this episode. So let's get the simulation underway. Let's really get this season um, started. Uh, we we are signing some scouts too. Um, there they go. They're they're coming in now. There they are. So. We do beat the Rangers, lose to the to the Detroit Red Wings. Okay, uh, but we're we're two and two now. They want to give us Lars Eller for a Dan for Danforth in a third. I don't really feel like I want to make any moves like this right now, right? Um, ooh, there there's four straight L's. Mikheyev for a third and a fourth. Not again, again, not four point six for Mikheyev. I don't think. Uh, at, when we finish the first month, four four and one. Uh, we are. Uh, you know, pretty far down there, right? Only you know, what one point behind the Hurricanes with a game in hand. But man, Johnny Goudreau is killing it right now. Taking a look just quickly. Uh, I don't want to dive too deep into the stats, but Line A, Johnson, Goudreau, Marchenko's killing it too. Wow. Uh, Fantilli, Warensky, those guys, those guys need to pick it up. But so far, so good in this month. Um, we got another month of sim underway, and then it comes time to spin the wheel. Oh, man, I, I'm nervous about the wheel spin. <laughs> but here we go. 
Let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, next month, we get a point off the Tampa Bay Lightning. We beat the Capitals. Okay, you know what? This is fine. I feel like we're we're winning games and losing games like I'd expect us to, although there's four straight wins, losing to the Arizona Coyotes. Um, okay, things are going all right, and they want to give us Zach Aston Reese. Again, not I'm not really interested in those kinds of trades right now. No, just acquiring bottom end pieces. There's Victor Arvidsson here, one more year at four million. Maybe we'll pick that back up later um, in the season. But for now, we are 14, seven and three. A great second month of the season has us at number two in the division. Now we have played a lot more games than the rest of the division. But the Capitals have five games in hand. If they won those all right which is probably unlikely they'd be ahead of us the rangers have three games in hand they would be behind us so we're we're doing pretty well um i'd say and so is johnny goudreau holy moly johnny goudreau with 34 points in 24 games ken johnson with 29 in 24 uh 13 goals there for goudreau that's crazy he's a plus eight as well shooting 14 percent johnson line a let's st stick with the forwards for now we got yeah line a is actually the least the least good uh he's the one that's not performing as good as the other two but these two are absolutely killing it uh kirill marchenko i believe he's on the third line he is killing it chinikov i believe is on the third or fourth line boone jenner on the second line the second line is not looking great maybe i want to move fantilly down but the, 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 the i mean it's working right uh matthew olivier on the fourth line he's looking fine uh actually really good plus nine sean corrali same thing uh down there it's the it is the roslovic uh fantilly uh jenner line that seems to be the weakest one but it, i think i think i know why that might be cole sillinger with nine points as well i'll, I'll absolutely take that the double digit goal scorers right now are goudreau and chinikov uh, taking a look at the defensemen, the defensive pairings are actually doing well. Wawrenski with 14, Severson with 13, then we got Bokvist with 10, Jirasek in his rookie season here. I believe it. I believe this is his first season. Yeah, it's really his first season, uh, first full season. He's still a rookie. Uh, he's doing well, plus six, six points. Provorov, Jake Bean seems to not, you know, do as well, but hey, uh, none of our defensemen fit our coach's scheme, so I'd say that's probably good that they're all doing pretty well. Uh, and then in goal, Elvis Merzlikens having a solid enough season, but... Spencer Martin is the backup, absolutely killing it when he comes in. Eight games played, five wins, three losses, and a shutout. Uh, nine, five, and three for Merzlikens as well. So, honestly, guys, the team is producing way better than I thought it was going to. Um, but a lot can change here in just a second. So, let's go ahead and jump over to the wheel. So here we are at the wheel. You guys can see there's a bunch of challenges. I think there's 25 on here. So there's about a 4% chance of getting any one of these. Now, there are some repeats like injuries or or asking for a trade, things like that. Um, but, but um, you know, it, it's, it's pretty well balanced. So what is our challenge in this episode going to be? We are going to get, oh, oh, what is it? What is it? A 60% chance of not wanting an extension. All right, all right. So we now have to limit it down to who are the extension. Oh, no. Oh, no. In the, uh, all expiring contracts. Got, we guys, we got Kent Johnson, Jack Roslevic, Jake Bean, Marchenko, Tessier, Bemstrom, Robinson, Shinikov. I mean, those are the... I, I only have the numbers of the good player, uh, like uh, of the 23. So... We've got to spin this wheel. We've got to open the numbers now. Player numbers. Here we go. You guys can see it's everybody's number as well. Who may not want an extension? Oh, boy. Um, it is number 27. Is that is it going to be number 27 or number 9? It's number 9. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I got to I got to pull up the jersey numbers and, and figure out who's who. I know I just play with everybody, but who is number 9? That would be... Uh, that would be Provorov. I don't think Provorov needs an extension. I don't think, uh, I, I don't think he was one of the names that I said was expiring. So Provorov, he's safe. We're going to have to respin the wheel. Um, oh man. <laughs> oh no. All right. We're going to spin it again. Who needs an extension and might not want one? We're going to get number nine again. Number 78 or nine, is that 91? Uh, it's going to be 91 again. Um, I don't think number 91 is... He's up for an extension. Kent Johnson, no. So we're going to... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, Kent Johnson? He's 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 not up for an extension, right? 
Oh my, please tell me he's not up. Kent Johnson is up for an extension and he has a 60% chance of not wanting an extension. Oh my God. Okay, so a 60% chance of not wanting an extension for Kent Johnson here. Oh God, please. All right, so it's a 60% chance. So the way we're gonna do this is the random number, if it's between, if it's one through 60, that would co correlate to a 60% chance. If it's any number above 60, we're okay. So generate it, 96. Oh my God. <laughs> Woo. Woo. All right. <laughs> We're safe. We're safe. Kent Johnson thought about uh, de declining an extension, but he's decided otherwise. He is good. Okay. Woo. <laughs> All right. I was really worried that we were going to abs. I have no idea where we would have gone. Had our, one of our best young players not wanted an extension, but as you guys can see, number 96, it doesn't fall within that 60% chance window. So we are safe. So guys, that is all the time I have for this one. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. If you guys have any other challenges you'd like to see me add to this wheel, there, a lot of them is are contract extension and injury related. I'd love to hear what else you guys have to th uh, say about the wheel and if you like this idea or not. But guys, that was a lot of fun. I had a good time. I hope you did too. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see some more. And I will see you guys in the next one. It's a free for all, free for all.